guys it's your boy here back with another video and yeah poor came in secret which i don't really want to care about let's start video i will be testing 15 secret rooms in brookhaven starting off with a room that has a super spooky backstory we'll need to crawl through this vent and i'm sure everyone knows about this part but if we walk into the wall we can no clip into this super mysterious room on the counter you'll see two images one of them is the brookhaven fbi agent and the other is this mysterious rod now i'm sure you're probably wondering bro where the heck is this backstory well this fbi agent is the main feature in the famous brookhaven movie and this rod is a super secret item you can find under the brookhaven bridge everyone like and subscribe right now all right guys you should probably listen to that reindeer i'm not trying to get hurt for this next secret room you'll want to spawn this house it should be this cool water house thingy i don't know what this house is even meant to be make sure it's in this location or this won't work go inside the mountain and you'll see a giant water room now if you go inside the water you can gain access to this super cool water place this is definitely one of the best rooms to hide from your friends just make sure you're not on top of the glass so they can't see you this next room is a bit weird but let me explain. These apartments require a game pass, which costs a total of 150 Robux. Well, there's actually a way to get this for free. It looks a bit creepy, though. You want to go to the penthouse and glitch in using the sleeping bag. And now you'll see you have a penthouse, but it looks a bit mysterious. Well, we can use these tools to customize our house. Of course, I'll need to add lighting here. And what would a penthouse be without any decoration? I'll add a tree with presents, because Christmas is only like a month away. Or kinda. I think it's a bit longer than a month. This apartment definitely needs more lighting. And here we go. A penthouse apartment for completely free. And I mean, it looks okay, I guess. I wouldn't invite any guests over, though. All right, for this next room... We'll need to go inside a plane. And, uh, guys, I think I just met my twin. I didn't plan for this to happen. Anyway... For this we'll need to make our avatar super small, and you'll need to go inside the bathroom. Literally all you do is walk behind this toilet, and now you're inside this super secret hiding spot. Literally no one would find you here. I never even knew this existed. But one room that's a bit strange is in this town hall. This one's pretty simple. All you do is click this little button, and you can go behind this safe. What's weird about this though is the money printing machine. You can see the mayor just printing all of Brookhaven's money. If you click the money it just gives you a fat stack of cash. So I guess it's a way to get rich. The next room is really strange. In fact, I've never seen a room like this before. Go inside the hotel and you want to go to any room. Walk into this wall. And every time you walk forward, you teleport to another hotel room. Look, I'm currently in a different room. Now let me walk in. And the colors changed. This is probably the coolest way to trick your friends. I mean, just imagine they're in here with a girl and you teleport through the wall. So for this next room, we need to spawn in this house. And you'll need to go upstairs to the bedroom. Now all you do is just walk through this wall near the safe and you're in this super mysterious house now apparently there's something super weird in this room when you change the time to 12 a.m so let's change it to 12 and run back into the area whoa what the heck is that I'm never going in there again. This next room is a bit bizarre. I don't really know how to explain it. You'll need to jump through this tight gap. It might take you some time, though it's really tight. Once you're in, you'll see there's a weird meeting room. It's pretty dark in here, so let me just get a flashlight. You can see a bunch of boxes scattered over the floor. Nothing seems to be inside them, though they're just empty boxes. But there is this weird loop thing which has some connections with the energy crystal. I think this room might have been an agency meeting room, but it's pretty hard to tell to be honest. So this next room involves one of these huge mansions all you do is climb on this light thing and just run through this wall you can see this safe and there's also some guns for you to shoot some innocent people with this is perfect for trapping your victims i mean friends inside you can see people would really be terrified of you once you've gotten a hold of these guns i mean to be honest i'd be terrified too and you want to know what else is terrifying this next secret room because it involves a secret ghost of brookhaven for this room, you'll need to go inside the bedroom and just hop into the attic. You'll see this super creepy doll, but this doll holds some dark secrets here inside Brookhaven. By going to our house and spawning in a ghost, you can see this ghost is the exact same figure as this doll. Many people think this is the daughter of Mr. Brookhaven, but no one knows what even truly happened to her. Now you might be wondering, why are you dressed as a criminal? And that is because there is a very special secret room inside this prison. So I'll need to act as a criminal and go to this jail. I just need to blend in. I'm not trying to get caught. Yo, bro, what are you doing? I just said I'm visiting. I really need to get inside here. You sure? Yes, sir! 
That was a really close call. I almost just fumbled the bag there. All right, we need to run into this cell, and there should be an escape route here. Yes, here it is. If we follow this tunnel, it leads us straight to a super secret room. I'm going to put a bunch of safes here. I feel this is a really reliable place to hide my money. Like, surely no one will check down here, right? Oh, geez, let me get out of here. That officer really doesn't look happy. I'm not trying to actually get arrested. I'm sure that wouldn't go down well in history. This next room holds a super creepy message. I bet it'll spook you out. We need to make our avatar super small for this one. I look like a little baby. And for some reason, it started pouring down with rain. What a coincidence. You want to go down these bizarre stairs. And under these stairs, you can simply walk into this secret room. Here you'll find this spooky message. If you want to read it, pause the video now. I think that letter is a clue towards one of the agency's secrets. There's a ton to uncover. I should probably make a video on it. So for this next room, we need to make our way all the way over to Food Mart. Here you'll find there's a refrigerator right here. Well, by opening this, you can simply walk inside it. This room's a little cramped, but if you're hiding from the police, I'd highly recommend hiding here. For this next room, you'll need to spawn this house. And this is definitely one of the most secret house rooms there is. You'll need to run underground, and you'll see already this is pretty secret. I mean, it's a whole underground ground bunker but if you make your avatar super small again you can jump behind this tv and click this button this passage will open up and now you've accessed a secret room with a bunch of explosions i think this is a criminal base because there's also a ton of money it's probably stolen now if you're hiding in this secret location you can guarantee no one will find you it's so unobvious you'll need to jump onto this fire station area and you can glitch through the wall by using the sleeping bag and you've now accessed a secret attic and oh geez i fell through the roof but you should definitely leave a like for this video. These secret rooms were insane. And make sure you subscribe as well.